Thank you. Coach Kluse is with us, and he will uh, make an opening statement, and then we will talk to our three players, E.J. Crawford, Ricky McGill, and Asante <laughs> Gist. Uh, remember to please address your questions uh, directly to the players after the opening statement with uh, Coach Kluse. I want to congratulate North Carolina on the win, a hard-fought game. Uh, our guys were really excited to play in this game, and I'm really proud of the effort that they put out and how hard they played for 40 minutes. I'm going to miss Ricky McGill a lot. We've uh, gone through a lot over the last four years, and I can't tell you how proud I am of him. And I'm also very, very proud of the other two gentlemen up here, plus the rest of my team. Questions for our players? Uh, Ricky, could you talk about that first half and the, the way you guys came out? Uh, we just, just came out ready to play. I mean, we knew they was going to come out and try, try, try and get a win over us, try, try and beat us by a lot. So for us to come out like the way we did, that was a big one. And then things changed. Yep. Uh, for Ricky as well, but, but any of them can answer this. Obviously last year, a 16 beat a one. How much was that on your mind, especially after the first half, as uh, well as you played? Yeah, we definitely had confidence with that. I mean, we all, we all know UMBC beat uh, Virginia by 20. So we tried to come out and try, try and prove the role the same thing, try to get an upset. And EJ, it seemed like uh, North Carolina changed their defense in the second half. They tried to clog the middle. You were getting frustrated going down the lane. Mm -hmm. what did, and they, they put a lot more energy on their offense. What changed in the second half? Um, you know, they just made an adjustment on me. Um, and that's really good. They just made an adjustment, yeah. Ricky, uh, Coach Williams was in here saying some nice things about you. What did he and what did some of the North Carolina players say to you on the handshake line? Uh, they're just telling me, heck of a game. You're going you're gonna to be something special. Just keep going. Don't never quit. And what was, <coughs> it looked like a very emotional moment when you walked off the court for Iona the last time. Uh, your encounter with Coach Kloos, what was, what was that like? Like you said, we've been through, we, me and him been through so much. I mean, through, through practice, through the arguments, through everything. I mean, I'm going to miss playing for him. You know, just... Just miss, playing for, just miss playing for a great coach. Ricky, to follow that up again, just overall memories of four years, four NCAA tournaments. When you look at your legacy on this program, how do you feel you were ultimately defined? Uh, just like one of the hardest workers to ever come out of Iona. Not trying to sound cocky or nothing, but from where I came from as a freshman to now, just shows like how much I care about this game. Uh, Ricky, how, mu uh, how much of the idea of planning your final NCAA tournament uh, contribute to your performance tonight? And what has these last four years been to you being with Iona? Uh, tonight, I just knew, like, just had to give it my all, all or nothing for 40 minutes. I knew, I knew I couldn't give up on my guys. I just tried to come out and give it my all, try and get a win. And for the last four years, I mean, it's just, just a blessing. Just, you know, it's just a blessing, man. Asante, as you, as you prepared for this game and you saw videotape, how unrealistic is that once you actually see the length of a team like Carolina? Um, it's, it was an adjustment for us, you know. Our confidence, you know, is not like that. So go out there against a team that, um, you know, pack, they was packing in the lane on us, so it was kind of difficult for us to drive. You know, coach kept telling us to move the ball and get, get if we was going to get uh, um, attack lanes, you know, after a couple passes. And it worked for us in the first half. And, and second half, it worked for us, too. We just couldn't make some shots. And then we couldn't get back in transition. And um, they would have killed us on the boards. And that's a big thing as well. So you know, I'm still proud of my guys and how we played. And I'm proud of us for the season that we had. 
Well, thanks very much for a tremendous show. Appreciate uh, we, it. we appreciate it. Congratulations again on your conference championship, and uh, we'll hopefully see you all down the road one way or the other. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll take questions for Coach Kloos now. Good job, guys. And uh, if you have a question in mind, please grab a, a microphone while the previous question is being asked so that we can keep everything moving along quickly for Coach. Go ahead, please. Uh, Coach Ron McFadden from Arionia. What do you got to say about the team's effort in the first half on both ends of the court? Um, one more time. Oh. What do you have to say about the team's um, effort in the first half, especially on both ends of the court? Oh, it was terrific. I wish we could have done it for two halves. Uh, I think they gave it everything they could on both ends of the court, and the first half couldn't have asked for anything more. Coach Ken Kreitzer, WVOX, New Rochelle. Uh, second half, I look like North Carolina changed their defense. They clogged the middle when Crawford would go, go down the lane, and they're just much more aggressive on offense. Uh, was were. there anything you could do, or, or is it just something you, could, you see happening? You need to make shots. Um, we had a lot of open looks, and I couldn't ask for better shots, and they didn't fall tonight. Some of our better shooters, especially in the second half, missed wide open shots. But on the other end, they started playing on all, all cylinders, and they started attacking the rim much harder, got down the court in a hurry. Tawan Agee being in foul trouble most of the game obviously was a hindrance to us because we don't have the luxury of having a lot of depth here, and that really hurt us as well. And all credit to North Carolina. They're a great team. Tim, what did you say to Ricky when you took him out? And if you can, how much did he mean to this program over four years? And I just what you didn't miss about him. Yeah, I thanked him for the four years and through everything we've been through and watched his development and told him I'm there for him the rest of his life, no matter what he needs on or off the court, uh, to help him out. Uh, he's meant a tremendous amount to our program over these last four years, and he's going to be the model that when we bring players in and recruit players that I want to use, how somebody came in, you know, not highly recruited, really didn't do much as a freshman, and built himself up to the level he did and was part of four championship teams and four NCAA teams. So what, what better way to, to, like, talk about a program and a team except using Ricky McGill as an example? Tim, I know you in the past you've, you've told your guys don't die wondering, you know, that, that, and ha, it, that they don't have to wonder for the rest of their lives how they would have done. How do you feel they, they, they did that, emptying the Oh, I tonight? think they gave us everything they have, and, like, no one's going to say this, but E.J. Crawford's had the flu for the last two days. I'm, like, just the fact that he was out there playing it was tremendous effort by him to come out and try to give us what he could. He wasn't able to practice yesterday, and, you know, that hurt our team, and I feel bad for him because he's worked so hard. But... They have nothing at all to be ashamed about. They should have their heads high. And like I told them, we're extremely proud of what they did this year. Iona's extremely proud of it. And hopefully anyone who watched this play enjoyed what they saw. Well, I know you didn't have the second half that you wished you had. But yeah. as you will look back on that tape for years to come, uh, you'll see how hard they were still playing in, in the second half. Thank and, you. Uh, it's been a great story for us to follow. We appreciate your time. Thank you very much. I Good appreciate luck everything here. Good luck with everything. Thanks. Thank you.